Holy. All right, hey guys, what's going on? It's that home theater dude. Got a brand new episode for you today. Today's video is all about the rack, right? This is the stack. This is the brand new rack. So let's just go ahead and show you guys. So this is my old rack right here. This is one I had. I maxed that one out pretty easily. This is the brand new rack. I'm five, six. I don't know what that is in meters, but <laughs> whatever it is, um, this thing is massive. So it's it's basically no, no small fry at all. And I knew that I was gonna be having all of this stuff go into the new space. That was the main reason why I decided to build this, you know, temporary wall structure. I'm not gonna put it back in this room right here. And uh, that's basically the way things have been going. I really appreciate you guys, you know, given the nice positive feedback. I put myself out on a limb by go ahead and recording all this stuff. I kind of figured it was gonna be a missed opportunity if I didn't do it, but at the same time, it's showing you guys the progress from you know day one to where it is now and for the most part you guys have been positive there's been a few people on there that have been questioning what I've been doing which is fine but uh, don't tell me how to do things guys there, there's a plan involved um, you, you may not see it from day one but all of these things are gonna be addressed and probably those comments that you guys have are more than likely gonna be addressed whenever everything is nice and done but been living in this space two months I need to go ahead and start uh, utilizing this space and <laughs> I owe it to you guys to to go ahead and do that as well. So main focus behind today's video is gonna be the rack. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all of this stuff into the rack and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys, you know, like a, a wiring how-to video and like a show you my rack video coming up later on. But I need to go ahead and get, uh, start getting this stuff done because it's, damn, it's it's been a long time. So <laughs> appreciate you guys for watching. We're gonna go ahead and get into it right after the intro. All right, hi, oh. <laughs> All right, guys, so the first step to doing all this stuff is to go ahead and plan it out. So obviously there's uh, some hard and fast rules of building a rack. You wanna have you know, the heaviest stuff on the bottom. Obviously these things are tall, you know, so you don't wanna have them tip. If they're shorter like this, you don't really have to worry about that that much but obviously still it makes more sense to put the heavier things down below. Um, here I'm kind of doing uh, some heavy things down below and I'm also doing you know, some things in the lower region, not really surpassing the midway, but uh, that's, that, that's basically the first uh, rule for them. Second rule is you want to go ahead and um, put things that are like the similar, put them together. So if you have Blu-ray players, you have, you know, your Xbox, you have, you know, your Apple TV, you want those within a specific uh, proximity to each other. And you want your amplifiers within a specific proximity to each other as well. Also, another thing to consider is cable length. If you already have your cables that you already bought, um, you might want to go ahead and think about where you're gonna place those in the whole grand scheme of things as well. Here, I'm thinking more or less along the thermal lines. So um, heat rises, right? So you wanna have things that are super hot down low, and then you wanna have things that are cooler on, on top. So transitively, things that would flow from uh, you know, hot to cold. In addition to that, I have a bunch of fans in here. I have all of these over here. I have this one down here. I have that one over there. <laughs> this thing has fans like crazy. That's the main reason why I didn't want to stick it in this room. You know, uh, I knew that I was going to be a little louder, so that was a consideration as well. So those are a couple of hard and fast rules for doing a rack. Um, other than that, you just want to go ahead and make sure that everything's nice and secured in there. Um, cable management is going to be another video I'm going to do later on. So uh, you know, just stick towards, uh, stick close to the channel for that video to come out. But right now, the first thing I'm going to do before I put anything in here at all is, since this thing is crazy, like tall and heavy, and it's going to hold a lot of you know heavy, expensive gear, I'm going to go ahead and level this thing 100% so that it's going to get off the casters. So even whenever the base is going this thing's not going to move forward and back so i'm going to go ahead and level this thing out i'm going to go ahead and lower those little feet down on the bottom and then besides that i'm going to go ahead and uh, show you guys what i did to plan it out and then we're going to go ahead and start throwing things in there it's going to be a really quick video uh you know here uh, for me it's going to take a really long time so <laughs> hope you guys appreciate this uh this hard work that i'm putting in there i got to do it anyway so i figured might as well film it but i'm going to go ahead and get to work i'll catch you guys in a minute Okay guys, so just real quick, let me go ahead and show you this. So this is onlinevisual-paradigm.com. So you're not gonna be able to read that over there. I'm just gonna leave a link down in the description if you guys wanna check this thing out yourselves. So it gives you these templates to work with, right? And you can save it, you can create an account and you know, whatever you wanna do. 
So this is gonna help you out, plan out how much rack you need, as well as where to place things, and as well as if you ever wanna upgrade, you know, you, you have the ability to do that really quick and on the fly, and then place it out in here versus removing your entire stack back there. So uh, just real quick, I just wanted to show you guys this. It's a 42RU up here, and then you can basically click and stretch these things to however big you want them to be. So I know that the Emotiva is a 4RU, but if you get it close to a 3RU, it'll just snap into place, right? So it's really, really cool. You can customize this any way you want. They have these little, you know, different type of styles in there to kind of give you an, an easy way to delineate what's a blank plate, what's a DVD player or whatever. So it's just a cool little tool. Definitely recommend that you guys check this out. It's gonna save you some time. It's gonna save your back. Lifting all this heavy stuff is not easy. It's not fun. So I just wanted to show you guys a pro tip that I found, um, you know, just checking out things on Google. So again, links down in the description. But now what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and start putting this stuff in. Obviously you wanna work bottom up. That makes more sense because, you know, it, it, if, if you drop something, it's gonna fall a long way, right? <laughs> so you wanna work bottom up so that you're, you're covered in that area. And also use two people with this. It's gonna save you, it's gonna save you. So let's go ahead and jump into it, guys. It's gonna save you, it's gonna save you. So let's go ahead and jump into it, guys. All right, so uh, I wanted to go ahead and pause the video here. I know that this is future me editing me and uh, I didn't necessarily notice this whenever I was recording. Um, so looking back on it, a couple of pro tips that I can let you guys know about is um, use a upside down shelf if you guys don't have a, a second person to help you out with this. So um, use an upside down shelf. So uh, a 2RU or a 3RU, like a rack shelf, um, they basically just screw in, right? So this is the normal way it would go in. You screw it in like that, so there's this perch here. So you just put whatever you need to on top of that shelf, and then whenever you're gonna go ahead and screw in your stuff on its rack gears, you just have to push it up a little bit versus if you didn't have the shelf, you'd have to be sitting there forcibly holding the thing up, trying to you know, line up the holes whenever, <laughs> probably one out of 100 times you'll, you'll probably get it, the rest of the times you'll probably just sit there and, and, and scream about it. But yeah, that, that, that's, that's one thing that I wanna let you guys know about. This is the next thing, right? So these came in with the Watt box, which is really, really cool. But if you guys can find some of these, I don't know what they're called. Um, if, if I find them, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it down in the description so you guys can check them out as well. But uh, it's, it's basically just like a small little half rack here. So what you do is you put these on the backside. So whenever you're gonna put something in there, say you put something on 17 here and you line it up 17 on the bottom there, screw this in on the back, both sides and then you basically just rest it on there and then just lift up a little bit so you're not carrying the full weight of it and then you can go ahead and cinch it in on the rack ears. So that's another little pro tip like that. They have them like this as well, a little longer. So this came with the um, Strong FS. This came with the Strong um, adjustable rack shelf. So that's something that you can look forward to as well. But I'll, if, if I find these, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it down in the description. So last thing I wanna let you guys know about is don't skimp on rack ears, right? If, if, if the equipment that you have, I get it, they're expensive. It kind of sucks that you have to pay, you know, some, a decent amount of money on these things. It, it doesn't make any sense why they're so expensive. Emotiva makes some cheap ones, um, but there's some, there's some workarounds with those. But don't cheap out on the rack ears. So if, if, you're, if your gear comes with a specific set of rack ears, buy that option, get that option, because you know that they're gonna fit. You don't have to worry about, you know, having to unscrew them, screw them, kind of jiggle them around, try to make them fit and whatnot you know for a fact that you know everything is gonna be in there and everything is gonna work the way it's designed. So this stuff's expensive, this stuff's heavy, you wanna make sure that it's protected, you wanna make sure that it's in there and it's not gonna come down. So buy the correct rack ears for your actual gear, it's gonna save you in the long run. Um, I did that for the most part in there, but there's probably two things in there that aren't necessarily on the native rack ears. So I wanna go ahead and address that later on. So that's another pro tip that I wanna let you guys know about. After all this crap said and done, let's go ahead and jump back into the video to past me, and then we'll go ahead and uh, show you guys the rest of the progress. All right, guys, every YouTuber, <laughs> anyone that ever records anything ever, hates whenever their footage gets corrupted and deleted or you can't use a file from a shoot. So that's what happened. So this, <laughs> what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you guys a cool time lapse for this entire stack being built, this entire, you know, six foot tall rack being built, but it looks like that footage from this initial part got lost in the conversion process. So. I don't think it's recoverable, but if, if I can, then I'll plop it in here. But 
I just wanted to go ahead and film this to let you guys know. I, obviously, I wanted to show you guys the complete build from top to bottom, which would have been really satisfying, especially in a time lapse, but it just, it hasn't happened. One thing I, I will say before I jump into the rest of this though, is that my initial plan was to make this rack, right? With plates, with blank plates. So what a blank plate is, is it'll go from here to the other side, right? And instead of being straight through, it blocks it off. So now I ordered the wrong size. I don't know what I was thinking uh, whenever I bought them, but I ordered two RUs and these require one RUs right here. So that will prevent, you know, excess flow of air. It'll basically help tra um, traffic the flow of air better than just being free flowing like this. But uh, yeah, so whenever I build the rest of this thing, you guys will notice that I will be leaving some space in there as well. So uh, whenever it's all said and done, I will come and readdress this and go ahead and add those in because it was part of my initial plan and it's still part of it. I just have to re-go back and make sure that it gets executed as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see if I can finish off the time lapse of this thing. I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a quick update because I didn't <laughs> necessarily like that whenever I checked my footage that it was gone. So. I'm going to go ahead and get, continue building this thing and I'll give you guys updates as I do it. West side. Young moolah, baby. <laughs> What's up, guys? Just got done, finished with the rack. I got my skindos down here. Um, jamming some tunes, man. This freaking Denon PMA 150, long overdue. I really got to do that review. But these huge speakers are powered by that little guy right there very, very easily. These will not give you any ear fatigue. You can blast these things and not have a headache, not, be, not have your ears ringing. You'll just love the sound that comes out of them. I'll get to that in a minute. Those are crazy, crazy speakers, but I wanna go ahead and update you guys on what I did over here. So rack's all done, right? So this is a 42RU rack. This is a strong signature 42RU rack that has 30 inch depth, right? So typically a rack is gonna be 25 inches on the depth, but this gives you so much more room for activities, right? So you have more room this way, you have more room that way. And on the sides here, obviously this should be covered up. So this has plates back there. Um, that, should, that should be on there, but I, I went ahead and left it open because I knew I was gonna be wiring this thing really soon anyway. But yeah, so um, there's a vent atmosphere up top. So it has perforated, um, I guess it's aluminum. So you can vent atmosphere up there. So right up top, I got a fan, got the processor, got the Lumigen, got the surge protection, Panasonic. And then this is, here it is guys. I, I wanna go ahead and just address this right here. Like, like I was talking about uh, earlier, whenever the footage got damaged, sometimes you just gotta roll with the punches. You gotta adapt and overcome. And doesn't matter how much you plan this stuff out, sometimes the plan can go awry. And this is one of those instances. I planned for two of these, two of these three RU spaces and this is a 3RU shelf. I planned for two of these in the entire stack. I can only fit one in there. And the reason why I wanted two is because obviously I do a lot of reviews and you know switch things in and out. So I'm not always using the RMC one. Sometimes I have a, a Denon Marantz or you know other types of AVRs to test for you guys. And I wanna be able to just take, it, take things out, put things in and then plug them up and then just go on with a test. So 
Obviously, I, I wouldn't have to remove this, remove this, and remove this, and then put it in there. I would rather just have an extra space just to plop something in there, plug it up, ready to go, and then that's it. So that didn't necessarily happen in this, this instance, but it is what it is. So um, I, I'm just gonna use this as it is right now. Um, obviously, this is going downstairs when the new Xbox comes out, but I'll probably just blank this as well. And then like I was talking about with the plan, like this is a 1RU rack and I wanted to make sure that it was gonna be fine. Um, but whenever I was putting it on there, I had to put a plate, you know, a 1RU shelf down there. And because it was kind of flexing, right? And I, this, is th this, this thing's not cheap. This is very, very expensive. And I didn't want the, the thing to flex or fall or whatever it is. Just protect your stuff. I mean, if, if, if you have to deviate from your plan, just do it. But I'll probably find a better solution for that one in a little bit. But I just wanted to go ahead and note that as well. Last thing that you guys saw, I made a big deal about the plates, right? So the, the blank plates that were going on here so that you couldn't necessarily stick your hand through it. It helps with thermal um, conductivity. It basically traffics the airflow in one direction versus letting it jiggle all around in here and be, you know, an entropy. But that's another thing that I wanted to let you, you guys know about. Um, that's basically it. So this is the stack. I'll do a full on like each individual uh, component, why I chose them and whatnot. But uh, just a couple things here, a couple things for sale if you guys want them. Arkham P1000, if you guys want this thing, I've been trying to sell it for a year, legitimately if you want it, and you guys are gonna give me a fair price, uh, hit me up for that one. And then the Panasonic UB9000, I'm not using this thing for its specific purpose anymore, so if anyone has an Oppo 205 and you're not <laughs> and you're not charging absor uh, absorbent prices for them, um, just, just, just let me know. Uh, I, I, would, I would really like to get a 205 in this space versus this one, because I really wanna use those DACs. So Oppo 205, if you guys have one and you're not charging three times it was whenever it was brand new and you guys are trying to sell something used, hit me up. Uh, besides that, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead in a full on detailed video of this stack, a show you my rack video. Um, put your favorite rack jokes down below. <laughs> show, <laughs> I have a big hefty rack, it leans a little to the right, um, whatever it is, uh, put your favorite rack uh, joke down below and then we'll go ahead and see if I can pick a winner, maybe give you guys a demo disc or something. But yeah, I really appreciate you guys for watching. The Build Your Bat Cave, oh, I don't even wanna show you guys this. The Build Your Bat Cave uh, video series has been very, very popular. I, this is a freaking war zone. This is like Gotham for sure. But all this stuff's gonna be cleaned up very, very shortly. As you guys see, I got the speakers in here. I got some, I got this rug down below as well. Still working on theater seating, but the first video was all about this wall. Second video was all about that hump. You guys love that humps. My humps, my humps, my humps. And then the last video was all about painting, right? So episode four is all about the stack, the rack uh, that leans, <laughs> that even though I tried to level before, it, it still leans a little bit. But uh, next video is gonna be a little glimpse of what's happening. So yeah, this, this thing's coming together, guys. And I'm really excited to show this thing off to you guys. Uh, whenever it's nice and clean, this is just a travesty. I don't, I don't even, I'm gonna pan the camera over here. That's, that's absurd. So yeah, I'm gonna go in this video here. If you guys like it, go ahead and share it in your favorite Facebook groups, share it with your friends, share it with your grandma, share it with your mama. But I really appreciate you guys for watching. That's gonna conclude today's video. I have another one coming very, very shortly. So stick tuned to the channel, guys. A lot more coming and uh, a lot more announcements too. So that's all I got. Make, make sure you like, favorite, share, and subscribe. Catch you on the next one.